Amtrak engineer is train nerd who worried about rail safety. Almost immediately following Tuesday's deadly Amtrak derailment near Philadelphia, speculation began about the driver of the train, especially after it was revealed the train was moving significantly faster than the speed limit in the area. The train is now known to have accelerated to more than 100 miles per hour as it approached a curved railroad junction where trains are supposed to travel around 50 miles per hour. The accident has so far left eight people dead and over 200 hospitalized, six of whom are in critical condition although expected to survive. As information on Amtrak engineer Brandon Bastian emerges, a more nuanced picture of the 32-year-old engineer who was at the controls of the train at the time of the accident is beginning to come to light. Brandon was injured in the crash, suffering a concussion, a head wound that required 15 stables to close, and according to his lawyer, memory loss including having no recollection of the crash itself. His lawyer Robert Goggin told the New York Times that the engineer had not been using his cell phone, had not been drinking, or using any intoxicating drugs prior to the train leaving the rails. Graduating from university in 2006 with a degree in business administration, Brandon Bastian became an Amtrak engineer in 2010. Friends and colleagues interviewed by the New York Times had nothing but good things to say about Brandon, who was described as an unabashed train nerd obsessed with trains since childhood. On an internet forum used mostly by industry insiders, a person who previously identified himself as Brandon commented on train safety and noted that a simple mistake by an engineer could lead to disaster. Although the web forum would not confirm the writer was Bastian, and the posts have since been removed, the writer believed to be Brandon Bastian commented that he wished the railroads were more proactive in adopting new safety technologies. Was Tuesday's crash now America's deadliest train wreck in close to six years human error, mechanical failure, a combination of both? The investigation continues and Brandon Bastian has now agreed to be interviewed by the National Transportation Safety Bureau. Follow us down the rabbit hole. Visit the TomoNews.net website or download the app today.